On June 24th, 2021, iX Systems announced the beta release of TrueNAS Scale. Now that it's out of alpha, we want to start testing it in our home lab to replace our aging Synology. You know, John, I've really been looking forward to TrueNAS Scale ever since I heard about the project. I'm a big fan of Debian-based Linux distributions, and this is a huge change from the BSD-based OS of TrueNAS. Not to mention the ability to run KVM-based VMs, native Docker and Kubernetes support, and more. So. What's the plan? The plan is to use that Supermicro 12 bay single socket host we picked up recently. Okay. I think that's the perfect candidate to be our first TrueNAS scale host. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Our base system to run the beta of TrueNAS scale is a 12 bay single socket Intel Xeon E5 2680v4 host that started life as an ODM security appliance. Since then, it has been reflashed with a standard Supermicro BIOS and converted back to a normal server. The host has 32 gigs of DDR4 ECC RAM, the aforementioned Intel Xeon E5 2680v4 CPU with its 14 cores and 28 threads running at 2.4 GHz, burstable to 3.3 GHz, 12 3 TB SATA disks, one 1 TB NVMe disk, and we'll be installing three more 500 GB Samsung Evo 980 NVMe disks that will be used as read and write caches to maximize storage performance for the host. The host also has a Broadcom 2 port 10 gigabit SFP Plus card installed as well to maximize our throughput to the network. Since this host is essentially already built, the only real physical tasks we need to perform here are installing the three new Samsung Evo NVMe disks. Because this menu bar doesn't have native M.2 slots on it, we're going to be using our go-to PCI Express 4X to M.2 slot adapters for each disk. Let's get that installed and ready to go. Let's download the ISO of TrueNAS Scale Beta. We've put a link to the download in the description. Download the ISO. We'll write it to our flash disk using our favorite ISO to USB tool, Rufus, and get it installed. Our target disk for scale will be an internal SATADOM disk, so we don't use up any of our precious storage for the OS. Now we'll connect our USB stick, boot off of it, and run through the TrueNAS Scale setup. The only hardware configuration change we needed to make before installing TrueNAS Scale was to change our RAID card's configuration. TrueNAS Scale runs OpenZFS and is designed to read and write directly to your disks, so our RAID card won't be responsible for RAID functions like controlling RAID arrays or volumes. You typically hear this configuration called IT mode or JBOD mode. Unfortunately, how you set this up is unique to your card, so do some research ahead of time. Setup was simple. Once we booted off of the USB stick, we targeted our SATA DOM as the installation location, provided a root password, and away it went. Really quick and easy. Install time start to finish took approximately three minutes. First boot up was quick with scale doing some housekeeping, moving initial files around, creating our SSH key, and so on. In the end, we're greeted with a simple console menu to configure IP addresses, set up lags, VLANs, routes, and more. By default, your NICs will be set to DHCP, and if you've already connected to your LAN and have DHCP available, you'll grab an address. Let's get over to the web interface and check out our fresh install. We know the IP address from the previous console screen, so we'll log into the web interface of our freshly installed TrueNAS scale with root and the password we set during the install from the USB stick. For users who are familiar with TrueNAS Core, you'll feel right at home. The UI is very similar and familiar. We're first greeted with the default dashboard showing us system information, CPU and RAM utilization, and our network interfaces. We have a lot of NICs in this host, seven if you count the IPMI interface. But once the system is racked back up, we'll be using the 10 gig SFP Plus ports as our primary means of interaction with the host. We have big plans for our TrueNAS scale install, but those will have to wait since this is still considered beta by iX systems. We'll be primarily testing and playing around with it until scale reaches GA or general availability. That being said, let's quickly jump through some of the things we're planning to do on it. Obviously, our primary objective with TrueNAS Scale is storing data. Currently, our biggest hangup with our Synology NAS that Scale will replace is the slow access to our Nextcloud data that is the underpinning of our channel's video workflow. We plan on using NFS to mount our ZFS pool to our VM of Nextcloud to serve the videos and transfer the data between John and I. There are many ways to set up ZFS pools to provide maximum IOPS performance, and with the variety of disks we have, 
we'll need to experiment with different pool layouts to get the best performance from the storage we have on our host. For now, we'll settle on a simple RAID Z3 pool for the mechanical disks, a mirror of NVMe for the read cache, and a mirror of NVMe as the Zill or write cache. With Scale comes Docker, something we've been embracing more in our home lab over virtual machines. Scale being Debian-based Linux natively supports Docker and does away with TrueNest Core's BSD jails. We're looking forward to having our Docker images run on Scale when GA releases. But in the meantime, we'll be using it as a playground for deploying and testing Docker images. We won't be running Plex on here. This is just an example of how quickly we were able to deploy a Docker image of Plex. Since Scale is still in beta, we will not be pushing our production on it until full release. For now, the Synology NAS will continue to be the primary home to our terabytes of video data. But we are super excited to take full advantage of all Scale has to offer. The ease of installation and setup was fantastic, and this feels like a very polished product for beta. But with all storage systems, you do not want to take chances. If you're thinking about deploying TrueNAS Scale right now and you have a backup plan for your important data, go for it. Thanks for watching this video. We would love to know what you think, so get down in those comments and tell us. Will you be switching to Scale? Would you like to see more TrueNAS videos? We would love to know. If this is the first time you've seen us, subscribe like right now. If you like what we do here and want to be all social, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And lastly, get on our Discord. It's a great growing community of people who love tech and we'd be happy to have you. Thank you for watching and we will see you again soon.